Alright, and we're recording. Alright guys, we're gonna do like, we might even make this a series. What if we did like a nightly podcast right here? Okay. Hold on guys, I got an itch. Sorry. Um... But anyways, yeah, we might do like a nightly podcast here. Can I do this on autofocus? So, yeah. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. But anyways, we might do a nightly podcast right here. So this is kind of like podcast episode one. Because I kind of like it out here. Yeah. And um, it's peaceful. There's nobody out here. Yeah, well, there's people behind us, but... Anyways, we're going to kind of make this the first episode. Okay. So. What are you going to talk about? I don't know. What should we talk about? Like, how was your day? My day was good. Kind of boring, but. Yeah, because you were off today. Yeah. Um, I think a good topic to talk about today maybe is. Hmm. Pringles. What's your favorite flavor? Ooh. Um, so I like the sour cream and onion. And then the... Um, I like the cheddar one, so... Yeah, the cheddar ones are really good. The pizza ones are okay, but they're not really my favorite. Ranch is also okay. It's not my favorite. Yeah. But... I feel like we need to move in just a tiny bit closer. <laughs> there you go. Okay. All right, now you guys can somewhat see us both. Right. But, yeah, the cheddar is my favorite, then sour cream and onion, and then the regular. Least favorite is the barbecue. I don't mind the barbecue, but, like, I gotta be in the mood for it. Yeah, I feel like that's when you really have to be in a mood. Same with the ranch. Like, it's okay, but if I'm not in the mood for it, I don't really want it. No, I'm not going to eat it. But, anyways, next topic. We just got these chairs, by the way, which they're really comfy. Yeah. They're mostly for my room because, which sounds weird because they're camping chairs, but they're mostly for my room so that, like, we have somewhere to sit. Because I'll show you guys my room when I get home, or I'll put a picture, like, right here of my room. And, um, yeah, she's rough. Well, she's not rough. There's just not a whole lot of seating space or where yeah. you could have seats. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm just double checking behind us because I don't want to, like, shine a bright light in people's face. But, um. Here we go. So, you guys might not be able to see us as well right now. We kind of have to be up closer for you to see us. But we're sitting down here. We might even make this like our podcast studio. It's not really a studio. (laughs) But I might get like dual mics so we can both have one. Yeah. And this can kind of be like our little area where we come and talk. Because it's very peaceful here. You can't really see anything behind me. But yet again, I will post a picture right here. Um, And yeah, we might just talk about our day. Talk about things. It's kind of funny because... Oh, that was you that touched my leg. Sorry. It's kind of funny (laughs) though that like... When we have the camera on, we can't really talk about anything like inspirational. Because I feel like we just kind of shut down. But, like, when the camera's off, I've had so many conversations with you that I wish somebody was filming. Okay. So, we're going to change. Okay, so, she's saying that now. We're going to change that right now. Okay, how are we going to change that? Because I say a lot of inspirational things. I want to be a counselor when I get old. Well, I'm 26, but... When I get a little bit older, I want to be a counselor, whether that's guidance counselor, behavioral and mental health counselor, you name it, whatever kind of counselor I want to be. But it's like when a camera's on me, for some reason, I just like blank out. 
Also, guys, I just realized the reason it looks so dark up here is because both her and I have really dark hair that it kind of just blends in. I swear I have hair. Yeah. Yeah, I have it's hair, It's just, too. like, blending in. Yeah. But, um, no, I say a ton of inspirational things, but it's, like, as soon as I'm in front of a camera, I just, like, blank. You know? But I've said, like, so many inspirational things to you. Yeah. That it's kind of like, why can't I say them on camera? Because I think a lot of times, when I go to say it on camera, I reevaluate myself, what I said. Whereas when I say it in person without a camera following me or around me, yeah, I say whatever the heck comes to my mind and it just like blurts out and boom, I'm done. But on camera, I'm like, I say it and then I'm like, ooh, what are people going to think about that? Like, are they going to relate? Are they not? You, you always tell me to... Yeah. yeah. She's always telling me to just say how I feel and just go for it. But that's the thing. Sometimes when I say what I feel, it could get me in trouble. Like right now, I have a whole thing I could say, but a certain someone might watch this. So I'm like, do I want to say it? And I think she knows who I'm talking about. I do. I do know who you're talking about. Be, okay, I'm going to say this without, like, naming anybody or saying, like, certain instances. But a lot of what I've seen coming through TikTok, coming through YouTube, whatever, for some reason has been relating to me. It's almost like they know what I'm feeling right now. Because a lot of what I've been seeing is, like, stuff talking about, you know, kicking people out of your life. Yeah. Whether that's for, like, emotional reasons, physical reasons, whatever... It's been a lot about kicking people out. And I've done a lot of reevaluating in my life, and I've t taken a few people out of my life. Because it's very toxic, like the certain people that have been in my life. So I felt the need to kind of cut them out. At first, I felt very like, is this something I should do? Am I in the right for this? But then I think about other, you know, videos that I've seen and they say, you know, kicking someone else or kicking someone out is beneficial to your health. Yes. I, going off of what she just said, I have also kind of kicked a few people, like, out of my life and... I don't really, I don't like hanging around them, and right. it has made me feel like so much better. Yeah, and like going off of that, it's like, or going off of what I said, I've learned it's not bad to kick people out. It's actually healthy. Because when it all comes down to it at the end of the day, you need to think of yourself and yourself only. Because yeah. when I'm constantly focused on what someone thinks, what someone wants me to do, what they don't want me to do, what they, you know, want me to think, what they want me to say, it's like, I can't continue living like that. Because then it damages your emotional health, your mental health, because then you spend a dollar and they suddenly act like you just spent two grand on something. And it's like, every time you go to spend like a dollar, especially on something you need, like rent or whatever they're immediately going to be like well did you really need to do that why don't you have the money in your account why don't and it's like i you can't live for other people no the more you live for other people the more you're going to hurt yourself and i have definitely come to terms with that and i definitely should have learned from my mom a long time ago but as jamie and i were saying it is extremely difficult to do yeah because you constantly feel like you're in the wrong that maybe it's just me overthinking, maybe it's just me, you know, reacting in a way that, you know, I necessarily don't need to. Yeah. Like, what are your thoughts on... Like, you kind of, like, at some point you have to sit there and, like, think about yourself. And I know that... 
Like Sorry dirt. guys, we have cars driving by. Yeah. We're outside, so. But continue. I know it's very difficult to do a lot of the time, but you have to start thinking about yourself mm -hmm. and how you feel and what you want. It took me years to be able to even like think about doing it. Think, yeah, think about cutting, you know, like anybody out of my life because I'm the type of person and I don't know if she is too, but I want to be friends with pretty much everybody and I just, I'm, I'm really caring and, you know, I just want to be friends with everybody and I don't want to have to make that decision to Right. You and I are a lot alike, and unfortunately, we're a lot alike my mom, which we've made the joke, which, sorry, Mom and Debs, if you're watching this, but a lot of us have made the joke that it seemed like, you know, she could be my own mom's daughter, because we are so much alike and so much like her that it's like, I just said like way too many times, but it's about, <laughs> no, I'm trying not to say like, but it's about trying to be nice to everybody but not being overly nice yeah and that I think is where Jamie and I kind of have a downfall is I'm too nice to people like yeah. I will let you in and in again and again and again and again and again until you burn me dry and I've slowly over the last couple of years started learning that like you gotta nix people you gotta get them out of there if they're causing, you know, mentally, emotionally, physical, whatever kind of damage to you, knock them out. And yes, I know that's harder, th easier said than done. Because a lot of times, if you're especially like Jamie and I, it is very hard to cut people out. Because just like you were saying, you're trying to make that big decision of, should I get rid of them and be that rude? Or, sh or there are some cases where... People can't let people go because they're either scared of that person, that they're going to do something if they do let them go. So there's like many cases and instances where it's not as easy as it, as it seems. Yeah. We're more of talking like the instances of like someone that's just a little bit too toxic to you. Not that they're like physically abusive or anything, but they just go a little over the top in taking care of you and it's like you know they mean well but they don't do it in that sense they do it in a way as if they really are mad at you for what you just did and that's the type of people we're talking about trying to cut out because those people they're just going to get worse the longer you're with them and like I said I'm not calling anybody out but I'm just saying that that's the type of people Jamie and I have dealt with. More than one person, too. We're not saying it was just a sole person. It's more than one. Yeah. For me, it's been several people in my life. Yeah, and recently, like, since my mom died two years ago, which it's hard to believe it's going to be two years. It feels like it's been, like, five. Yeah. But since she died two years ago... I've learned a lot of tough lessons and lessons I did not think I would actually learn. So, but yeah. Do you have any more on that topic? I have learned a lot of hard, very hard lessons as well. And I've learned who I who I can trust and who I can't trust. Mm -hmm. And I just want to get in here real quick. Sorry if I'm talking a lot, guys. <laughs> but I just saw a light. Lightning bug? Lightning bug? What are they called again? Firefly? Well, there's also lightning bugs, too. But anyways, <laughs> that's beside the point. But um, we're going to get, like, a better setup here. Like I said, we're going to get dual mics. And... We might just start up the JNS podcasts again because we had that going for a while. And sorry, I'm just making a quick cut here. But 
we started JNS podcast last year. It didn't really go anywhere because we made like one episode and that was it. <laughs> so, but now that we've found this area to do our videos, this just might be our area. Because there's no like distracting light behind us. It's all dark. We might get like two more lights for the sides so you can see a little bit better. Yeah. And then we'll do it facing that way so we're not like shining bright lights in cars' faces. But yeah, I want to get these podcasts going again because I think this is fun to just kind of sit here, talk to you guys, you know, be inspirational, get stuff off our minds, our chest, whatever. Because we have a lot of topics to talk about. We have top top blah, blah, blah. <laughs> topics about getting people out of your life. We have topics about, you know, lifestyle changes because her and I both went through major lifestyle changes. We went through major life changes, like, and that's the same thing as lifestyle. But we went through major life changes that we are really having to learn to regroup, you know, grow again, figure out what's going on. So we want to help you guys with that. Yeah. That was a taste of, like, our first little inspirational part of getting people out of your lives. We probably could have said a little bit more about that, but that's about all I got right now. Yeah. It's, like, 1030 at night, so I'm, like, not fully thinking. <laughs> yeah. This is more of something that what we'll do is we'll have, like, a set schedule, and then the night before or the couple nights before, we'll sit down. Quit yawning on my videos. Sorry. <laughs> Just it's the first time I yawn, man. Yeah. <laughs> But um, the night before, the couple nights before, we'll write out, like, a script or write out, like, what our idea is. And we just kind of want to come on here and just inspire you guys. And I know we may not be that inspiring right now because, like I said, it's 1030 at night. I just got done with work. <laughs> and I was not preparing to do this. This is kind of like a spur-of-the-moment thing. Which is the story of our lives like literally every everything is a spur of the moment which is a good thing sometimes and we'll get into that in a future episode yeah because we've also been dealing with that where we make spur of the moment decisions and everybody thinks they're bad but they've turned out good yeah so we're gonna get to that um yes i'm wearing this like this because i didn't feel like putting it fully on but yeah, we have, like, a ton of inspiring conversations, ones that we can actually plan out and talk about and maybe film earlier in the day so that I have the night to edit, which, honestly, on the podcast, I might not even do edits. I might just make an intro, and it seems like it just got brighter behind us because I've been staring in this light so long, but, um, yeah, we're thinking about doing that. Maybe, oh, sorry. No, you're good. Maybe we could even do, like, a question and answer type thing. Yeah, like a Q&A with you guys. Because that's pretty much our motive with this. We want to take our social media influencing skills, which I don't have a lot right now. But, you know, maybe... What? I didn't hear what he said. But anyways, um, yeah. <laughs> that totally just threw me off. But, um... What was I saying? Oh my god. I'm like that kid distracted me. I'm gonna turn my pull oh, turn that down a little bit. But anyways, yeah, we have a lot of inspiring conversations. We might do Q and A's so you guys can send in questions and you know, we'll answer them whether they're about counseling, whatever they're about, we will, you know, answer your questions. Sorry, those guys like threw me off, whatever the hell he said. Something about your light being bright enough or something. Or know. your flash or something. I don't know and I don't care. But um We are we are here to help you. So if you have any questions questions, you know, you want us to talk about a topic or like you have something you've been dealing with that you can't talk to anybody else and you want us to talk to us we're here for you yeah because we've been through a lot you may not think i really have because i'm only 26 but i've been through some stuff and she has definitely been through some stuff yeah and eventually we will tell you guys about that whoa we will tell you guys about that and, you know, you guys can ask us whatever kind of questions you want to ask. Sorry, we keep getting distracted. Next time, we're going to turn that way. Yeah. 
But um, yeah, we're here to answer your questions. We're here to talk to you. We're both open book, open ears. Like we are willing to talk to you about whatever and anything you want to talk about. So I'm going to end this here because we're just rambling on now. (laughs) So that was our first little podcast. It wasn't like very formal, but we're going to plan it out better tomorrow and figure out what kind of equipment we need. We might even like go further up that way because there's a little pavilion up there Yeah. or go that direction. We don't know. But yeah, (laughs) but we are going to end it here. We hope you guys enjoyed. I know it wasn't like the most intriguing conversation, but we're going to get better at this and we want to do it. We're going to get mics. So if you couldn't really hear us that well, I'm sorry. Me, you probably can hear because I talk pretty loud. Her, you might not have been able to hear. But we're going to get a mic for her and a mic for me. And, yeah, we hope you guys enjoy our little podcast. And we hope to inspire you. We hope to, you know, engage you guys in conversations. Yeah. Anything else? No, I think I think she about covered <laughs> that. All right. So we will see you guys on the next episode. This one will probably be uploaded tomorrow. And then we will see you guys on the next one, which we're going to come up with a schedule as well again tomorrow. Right. Yep. Boom. We love you guys. What was our outro before? Well, I'll say we love you. We hope all is well. Stay beautiful. Stay gorgeous. Stay flawless. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.